Hey everyone, Adam Simmons here from DGTL Infra, short for Digital Infrastructure. What are the top data center markets in Europe? That's the question we answer today. In this video, we walk through the five major data center markets in Europe, which include the cities of Frankfurt, London, Amsterdam, Paris, and Dublin. These are all the tier one data center markets of Europe, so stay tuned. So let's jump in and discuss some of the supply and demand metrics for each of these key data center markets to get a better sense of why they are so important. Firstly though, in the data center industry, Frankfurt, London, Amsterdam, and Paris are commonly referred to as the flap markets. So starting with Frankfurt in Germany, Frankfurt is an attractive market for data center users given its position as one of Europe's major financial and commercial hubs as well as its strong power supply dynamics and network connectivity, which in turn has caused higher levels of data center demand and investment in the Frankfurt market. Overall, Frankfurt has 425 megawatts of supply and availability of 55 megawatts, equating to a vacancy rate of 13%. Digital Realty, Equinix, Cyrus One, and Iron Mountain contribute to Frankfurt's 235 megawatts of data center capacity under construction. Furthermore, the Frankfurt market has the potential to develop another 585 megawatts of power capacity over the coming years. In 2020, absorption in Frankfurt has equated to leasing of 75 megawatts of power capacity, which has been led by demand from hyperscale companies such as Amazon Web Services and Google Cloud, which you see below, and includes Microsoft Azure, Oracle Cloud, IBM Cloud, SAP, and Alibaba Cloud. Beneficiaries of this leasing demand include data center providers Digital Realty, Equinix, Cyrus One, and Iron Mountain, as well as private operators NTT and Global Switch. For example, in June 2020, Iron Mountain pre-leased a 27 megawatt facility to Google Cloud on a 10-year lease term. Moving to London in the United Kingdom, London is the largest data center market in Europe and is supported by the London Internet Exchange, which is also known as Lynx. This is one of the largest internet exchange points in the world, connecting 900 members from over 80 countries around the globe. Overall, London has 710 megawatts of supply and availability of 175 megawatts, equating to a vacancy rate of 25%. Digital Realty, Equinix, Cyrus One, Virtus, and NTT contribute to London's 170 megawatts of data center capacity under construction. Furthermore, the London market has the potential to develop another 400 megawatts of power capacity over the coming years. In 2020, absorption in London has equated to leasing of 60 megawatts of power capacity, which has been led by demand from United States hyperscalers, such as Microsoft Azure and Amazon Web Services, which you see below, and also includes Google Cloud, Oracle Cloud, IBM Cloud, and Alibaba Cloud. We're starting to see a theme here with all the same cloud providers dominating the European markets. Beneficiaries of this leasing demand include data center providers Digital Realty, Equinix, and Cyrus One, as well as private operators Virtus, NTT, and Vantage Data Centers, which is owned by Colony Capital. Moving now to Amsterdam in the Netherlands, Amsterdam has one of the world's leading internet exchange points, known as IXPs, which is called the Amsterdam Internet Exchange, or AMS-IX for short. Additionally, the Netherlands as a country is a landing point for over 10 transatlantic subsea cables. Amsterdam has established an interconnection rich ecosystem of data center providers, as well as users in financial services, content, and cloud service providers as well, which connect through Amsterdam to provide services across Europe. Overall, Amsterdam has 390 megawatts of supply and availability of 105 megawatts, equating to a vacancy rate of 27%. Digital Realty, Equinix, and Iron Mountain contribute to Amsterdam's 70 megawatts of data center capacity under construction. Furthermore, the Amsterdam market has the potential to develop another 395 megawatts of power capacity over the coming years. In 2020, absorption in Amsterdam has equated to leasing of 25 megawatts of power capacity, which has been led by Microsoft Azure and IBM Cloud. 
Beneficiaries of this leasing demand include data center provider Digital Realty, as well as private operator Edge Connects. Moving now to Paris in France, Paris is a market that is continuing to have higher demand from cloud service providers, as historically Paris has lost out on significant business to the other flat markets of Frankfurt, London and Amsterdam. Overall, Paris has 210 megawatts of supply and availability of 25 megawatts, equating to a vacancy rate of 12%. Digital Realty, Equinix, and Cyrus One contribute to Paris' 75 megawatts of data center capacity under construction. Furthermore, the Paris market has the potential to develop another 85 megawatts of power capacity over the coming years. In 2020, absorption in Paris has equated to leasing of 18 megawatts of power capacity, which has been led by cloud service providers such as Microsoft Azure and Amazon Web Services, as you see below, as well as IBM Cloud and internet companies such as Apple. Beneficiaries of this leasing demand include data center providers Cyrus One, Digital Realty, and Equinix, as well as private operators Colt, Data4, and Global Switch. Finally, moving to the fifth key European market being Dublin, Ireland. Dublin's data center market is largely dependent on American companies, specifically IT and internet companies, financial institutions, and pharmaceutical companies drive the Dublin data center demand. Dublin is different from other markets in Europe because it has a significant amount of data centers being self-built by their end users. So these include data center self-builds from Amazon Web Services, Facebook, and TikTok, which is owned by a company called ByteDance. Overall, Dublin has 125 megawatts of supply and availability of 10 megawatts, equating to a vacancy rate of 8%. Cyrus One and Edge Connects contribute to Dublin's 55 megawatts of data center capacity under construction. Furthermore, the Dublin market has the potential to develop another 135 megawatts of power capacity over the coming years. In 2020, absorption in Dublin has equated to leasing of 15 megawatts of power capacity, which has been led by Microsoft Azure and TikTok, which you see below. Beneficiaries of this leasing demand include data center provider Keppel DC REIT, which is publicly traded in Singapore, as well as private operators Edge Connects and K2 data centers. So that wraps up our coverage of the five major data center markets in Europe, being the cities of Frankfurt, London, Amsterdam, Paris, and Dublin. If you want to understand more about the five largest and publicly traded data center companies in the United States, including Equinix and Digital Realty, or you want to learn about the top seven data center markets in the United States, including Northern Virginia and Silicon Valley, then we highly recommend watching our video explaining this called Top 5 Data Center Companies and 7 US Markets. Links in the description as well. With that, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.